Hello and welcome to Technically Explained. In this video, we are going to study the voltage divider, divider biasing arrangement of enhancement type MOSFET. And you can see the simplified diagram of voltage divider biasing arrangement on your screen where we have two resistors R1 and R2. And we also have resistances RD and RS. Now again what we need to do is that we need to find the Q point and to find the Q point we need to plot the transfer characteristic curve as well as the network equation characteristic curve or the network characteristic curve. So to, to draw the transfer characteristic curve again for N channel enhancement type MOSFET we need four points. When the VGS equals VT we have the drain current zero. So this is my point number one. And when the VGS is equal to the VGS on, I have ID is equal to ID on. So this is my point number two. And when, when the VGS one, we have VGS in between the threshold voltage and the VGS on, we have ID is equal to ID one, where ID is less than ID on. So this is my third point. And finally for the fourth point, when VGS is equal to VGS two, ID is equal to ID two, which is greater than the ID on. So this is my this is my point number three and this is my point number four and we have already discussed these so by using these four points I can plot the transfer characteristic curve if you can have a look we have plotted the transfer characteristic curve over here using those points so this green curve is my transfer characteristic curve now what we need to do is to plot the network equation curve so to plot the network equation curve First of all, I have a VG over here and this is my R1. So first of all, I need to find the value of VG and VG can be found by using the voltage divider rule. So VG is going to be equal to, I can write it over here that VG is going to be equal to R2 into VDD divided by R1 plus R2. So this is my equation number one. So that's why we can find the voltage at the gate terminal. Now once the voltage at the gate terminal is found out, I can use the KVL over here because here the source current flows and source current is equal to the drain current. So I can assume the drain current flows over here. So I can uh, apply the KVL and this is my voltage drop and across resistors I have also a voltage drop. So I can write VG is equal to VGS plus IDRS. And then I can rearrange it and say VGS is equal to VG minus IDRS. So this equation, let me name it as equation number A, is going to be my network equation. And I need to plot this equation to, 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 to draw the uh, network characteristic curve. Now to plot this equation, this is a straight line, so I need only two points. And the points I'm going to select is that when ID is equal to zero, VGS is going to be equal to VG. So one of my points, P1, let me name it as P1, that will be equal to zero and VG. And for the second point, when VGS is equal to zero, I have ID is equal to VG divided by RS. So this is going to be my point number two, which is a zero and VG divided by RS. So I need to uh, plot this point, these two points, join these two points and I'm going to get a straight line. So when uh, ID is equal to zero, we have VGS is equal to VG, which is suppose around here. So this is my point number one. And point number two is when VGS is zero, VGS is zero over here. ID is equal to VG divided by RS, which is uh, going to be somewhere around here, suppose. So this is my second point and then what I need to do is to carefully join these two points to the straight line. So I'm going to plot a straight line over here and then I'm going to get an intersecting point. So this is going to be my intersecting or Q point. And from the Q point this is going to give me the VGSQ and the IDQ. So once the VGSQ and the IDQ is found out, I can apply KVL on the output circuit. So let me apply the KVL on the output circuit and then that will be equal to VDS is equal to VDD minus ID RS plus RD. 
because id is already known so i can find the vds and vs is going to be equal to idrs so this is another equation and finally because vds is equal to vd minus vs so this implies that vd is going to be equal to vds plus vs so that is how we can solve the voltage divider biasing of n channel enhancement type mosfet thank you